moving quickly and energizing the body, feeling good, right? Being stuck at home, we're, we're going to energize you, don't worry. So we're just going to start on our back, just kind of taking a moment to break before we get started, connecting with our breath, our body. So I always like to have my feet a little bit wider, just kind of like give your muscles some room to spread out. And then allow yourself to get down comfortably and safely, maybe rolling the shoulder blades underneath the new hands. I like to have them out wider as well, just to get your shoulder blades more space to let go, your arms more space to relax. And just take a moment here in silence and in stillness. Notice anything that you feel. And just allowing it to let go, just allowing your mind to be present within yourself in this moment, giving yourself the time you need to just relax. Exhale. 
lift yourself up. Feel that pressure. So do as many reps as you want back, or just do one big rock. As you exhale, plant the feet down, lift the hips up. If you kind of feel like it's hard getting there, you can always pause here, then kind of put your hand in front, put your hand behind, lift your bottom up. So again, finding what feels good. You can even lift your heels so that feels good. Take a moment here. You can draw your elbows into your inner thighs. Feel that opening here in the groin, the inner thighs. Maybe plant your hands down or keep your hands at your heart. Lift your heart, draw the heart up, sink the hips down deep. Take a moment here and maybe sway side to side. And the hips, feel that opening even more. Kind of just coming to crow pose. So plant your hands down. You can either do it the crow pose yogi way, where you take your knees on the outer edges of your forearms, or of your upper arms, and really draw the knees in, squeeze the knees in, squeeze the thighs together, and then maybe lean forward, look up, birds fly as you look forward, lift the feet up. Or if you want to do it the cheat way, as I always do, you can bring your knees on the backs of your triceps. Plant your fingers down again, look forward. Maybe kick one foot up, the other foot up. Finding what feels good. Staying here as long as you want. Feel that strength in your arms, in your body, your mind. And then whenever you're ready, bring your toes down, bring the knees down into center. Coming to camel pose, bring your hands on your lower back, lift all the way. Elbows come back behind you. Breathing into your heart here. Take an inhale, exhale, just lean one notch back. Really lengthening that tailbone down, tilting the pelvis back. You're taking that weight up the lower spine. Deep breath in. Exhaling, round the spine, planting the hands down. And then kicking the feet all the way back to a plank. Bending one knee, bending the other knee. Maybe twisting side to side. Noticing anything that feels good. And then taking an inhale, exhale, push the vibe forward with the toes or with the knees. Finding what feels good here. As you exhale, bend the elbows, come halfway. The nose is three inches off the ground. Holding here. Inhaling. Coming back up to a plank. Again, the knees can come on the ground as well. Take an inhale again. As you exhale, push the body forward with the toes. Bending halfway. Holding here. Three, two, one. Inhaling, pressing back up. High plank or low plank. Exhaling last time as you go all the way down this time, melting all the way. Point the toes, lift the heart. It's coming to a baby cobra. Making sure the pelvis is really pressing to the ground. Unsqueeze the glutes, unsqueeze the legs back behind you. Lift the heart. As you exhale, come to Sphinx pose. Forearms come onto the ground. Elbows come underneath your shoulders. And just take a moment to pause in stillness, noticing how your heart is feeling, noticing your breath. Maybe you're out of breath like me. I talk too much. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let anything go. Shoulder blades together on the back. Lift the heart. Breathe into the heart. All the oxygen going to your heart. Keeping it pumping. Keeping that blood flowing. Nice. Take one last inhale. Exhale, bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Slowly lower the torso down. Being aware of your spine. Tuck the toes here. And then come up to all fours. Take a moment to shake side to side, noticing anything that feels good in the spine, the hips. Maybe do some rolls. You can do cat and cow if that feels good. And then coming to a stillness here. On your inhale, lengthen the right leg back behind you, and then extend the left arm out in front of you. So just take a moment to feel your balance, your foot strength on the right arm, left leg. Noticing anything you're feeling. As you exhale, crunch in. Either knee comes to your elbow or maybe it passes the elbow around the spine. Press away from the ground with the right hand so your shoulder blades are away from each other. Inhaling, lengthening, reaching back out. Imagine you're reaching for something out in front of you. As you exhale, rounding the spine. Inhaling. Just doing it two more times. At your own pace. When you move faster than you can do more. On your last exhale, pause there, crunch in. And as you inhale here, bring your right knee up towards the side, like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Left arm comes up to the left side, like a half T. Notice any sensations around the right hip. If it 
feels too tense, you can draw the knee down towards a 45 degree angle, or if you want that to feel that tightness in the hip, you can keep it up to that 90 degree angle. Take an inhale here, exhale, crunch in. Do this three more times, inhaling up to the sides, exhaling, crunch in. Two. One, as you exhale, come to center. And then just alternating here, inhaling up, front and back. Exhaling, crunch again. Inhaling to the sides. Exhale, crunch in. Three more times. Inhaling, front. Side. Front. Side. As you exhale, crunch in. Last time. Inhale here. Exhale. Come all the way down. Keep the right foot back behind you. As you exhale, draw the knees to your chest, knee to your nose, round the spine. And then gently plant the foot in between your hands, coming into a low lunge. Inhale, rise the arms. Noticing anything that feels good here, maybe sink the hips deeper. You can kind of scoot that left leg farther back behind you, so feel stretching in the hip flexor on the left side. Nice, and bring the right hand down onto the right hip. Take an inhale, lift the left arm. As you exhale, lean over to the right side. Really pressing your right hand into your right hip so you're not leaning too much that way. You're coming to center. Noticing the opening on the left side of the body. And then inhale, coming back to center. Take a deep stretch. Exhale, plant in the hands. And then just kicking that foot back all fours and just shaking the hips side to side. Nice, whenever you're ready, lengthening that left leg back behind you, right arm out in front. Again, take a moment to notice the strength in your mind and your body. Take an inhale as you exhale, crunch in, round the spine. Inhaling, lengthening fully, exhaling, crunch again. Just doing two more. Finding that thing that feels good for you. Last exhale, pause, here coming up to the sides, right hand, come up to the right side, left leg like a dog to the left side. As you exhale, crunch in. As you inhale, come up to the sides. If you want to go extra challenge, maybe straighten the leg out towards the left side, or you can keep the knee bent again, finding that thing that feels good. Exhale, come into center, again alternating here, inhaling front and back. Exhaling, coming to center, inhaling to the sides. Exhaling, center. Inhaling, front and back. Exhaling. Inhaling, sides. Doing this around three more times. Moving at your own pace. Really focusing on what you feel in your breath, your body, your mind. One more time. Pausing at that. Straightening out front and back. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Draw the knee to your nose, nose to your knee, round the spine. Then plant the foot gently in between the hands. Inhale, rise the arms, low lunge. Take a moment here, sink the hips deeper. Make sure the knee's above the ankle. Just allow everything to let go, noticing your breath, your body. Then bring the left hand onto the left hip. Take an inhale, rise the right arm. As you exhale, lean over to the left side. Feel the stretch in the right side body, maybe even the psoas muscle, the hip flexor. Inhale, come back to center. Exhaling, plant the hands down. Kick it back to all fours and just shake side to side. Ooh, let go. Take a sigh out. Doing anything that feels good. And then kick the toes back, come to a plank. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. And then as you exhale, send the hips all the way up and back down. Up. Just take a moment of stillness here. You can bend the knees if needed. Hamstrings feel too tight. You can draw the heels down towards the ground. Try to bring your biceps forward, triceps back. Draw the ribs in, belly in. Two spines in one straight line. Draw the head all the way down to relaxing the jaw, the neck, the head, the mind. Release bending your fingers at wide corner, fingers parallel to each other on the mat. Try to get your shoulder blades away from each other and just stay here in stillness. Taking deep inhales, deep exhales. Ujjayi breath, ocean sounding breath. On 
on your last inhale, bend those knees up forward, and then just step or hop towards the front of the mat forward fold. Allow the weight to come into your toes, that lift in the heels, just feel it stretching behind the hamstrings. Again, if it feels like your hamstrings are shouting at you, bend your knees, let that weight off. You can grab your elbows, you can rock side to side, or just stay here in stillness, maybe pulse up and down. Just kind of feeling that weight that we carry all day, let it go. The torso relax, the spine relaxing, decompressing, head letting go, mind letting go as well, knowing you have that power. Whenever you're ready, take a deep inhale, come halfway. Roll the shoulders back, belly and ribs in. As you exhale, bend the knees, moving slow for a moment. Grab the ankles to pull yourself down, round the spine like a cat. Scared on Halloween. Inhaling, slowly lift the vertebrae. All the way to standing. Float the arms all the way up. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, relax the arms on by your side. Take a moment for yourself here. You can roll the shoulders around, roll the head around. Noticing if you feel any tensions in the back of the top of the spine, neck, head. You can roll your wrists, you can roll your ankles or bend the knees. <clears throat> really finding what feels good for you. Then take an inhale, rise the arms. Hold the breath in for a count of five, four, Three, two, one. Exhale through the mouth, bend the knees, drag it all down. <sighs> Let go. Inhale, halfway, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, bend the knees, inhale, slowly roll all the way. As you come up there, hold the breath in for a count of five. Four, three, two, one. Same thing, drag it all down. <sighs> Take a moment to shake anything out the shoulders, the hips. Your tailbone, let it wag in the air. Inhale, come halfway. Exhale, bend the knees down the spine. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Take a moment to pause. And whenever you're ready, moving through this flow, just slowly for this first one. Inhaling, rising the arms, slight back bend if that feels good. As you exhale, hinge at your hips, leading with the heart all the way down, swan diving down. Inhaling, halfway. As you exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, sit it back to a plank. Again, high plank or knees down, low plank. Take an inhale as you exhale, push the body forward with the toes and the knees. Again, try to go halfway down, belting down to the nose, it's three inches off the ground. Pausing here. Pausing, pausing, feeling that strength, and then pull the toes, lift the heart. Deep breath into your body, exhale, down dog. Do anything that feels good here, shaking the hips, bending the knees one knee at a time. Noticing the stretching behind the hamstrings, the calves, the knees. Even any stretching the spine, notice that. Take one last inhale here, exhale, breath them out. <sighs> last inhale, bend your knees up forward. This time, either sit or hop or jump towards the front or forward fold. However you want to get there. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, slowly roll. Really controlling your body here. Coming all the way to standing, flowing the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Really pressing your thumbs into your sternum, noticing your heart beating. What's the rhythm? Slowing the breath down, slowing the body down. Coming to a pause. Moving slightly faster here, moving one breath per movement. Take an inhale, reach for the sky. Slow back bend if that feels good. Exhale, hinge all the way down, forward fold, weight in the toes. Inhaling halfway. Exhale again. You can bend the knees, plant the hands, come back to a plank, or you can jump back. But when you jump back, make sure you bend the elbows as you come down. Exhale. Coming all the way down to the rango. Inhaling upward dog or baby cobra. Exhale down dog. So again, I'm really moving for you. Once you're in down dog, doing anything else that feels good. Really finding that down dog for you. You're more important to yourself than anything else. Take one last inhale. Exhale to the mouth. <sighs> inhale, bend the knees up forward. Step or hop or jump towards the front. Forward fold. Allow yourself to deepen here for a moment. Weight in the toes. 
Inhale, halfway, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, bend the knees around the spine. Inhale, slowly roll. Feel the spine lifting. Feel the strength in your spine as you come up. Inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Close your eyes. Take a moment to pause. Maybe even noticing where your mind keeps going to. Knowing that that's okay, but trying to be present here. And moving however you want. Take a deep inhale, rise the arms. Following your breath, exhale, hinge at your hips. Inhaling halfway. Exhaling, jump back or step back. Chaturanga, however you want to get there. Bend the elbows, really hug the elbows into your body. Inhaling up, forward dog or baby cobra. Open your heart, exhale, down dog. You can always come to child's pose if needed. Take one last deep inhale. Exhale to the mouth. Let all that tension go. Inhale, bend the knees up forward. Step or hop or jump towards the front. Forward fold. Just take a moment here. Grab your elbows, rock side to side. Really decompressing your spine. Let all the weight melt forward. If you want to go deeper, you can take your peace fingers underneath your big toe, bend your elbows, and really pull yourself down. Try to get your chest towards your knees, maybe nose to your knees. Feel the stretching behind the hamstrings, maybe it feels good. Feel that sweet sensation, Ooh, or that really not too great sensation in bend the knees. Nice. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, bend the knees around the spine. Inhale, slowly lift. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Taking a moment for yourself again. Slowing the mind down, slowing the breath down. Just feeling yourself here, standing strong and tall. Nice, wherever you are. One last time, and I challenge you to just close your eyes for this last one. Just really being present, putting yourself. It's kind of fun, kind of scary, but it's fun. Take a deep inhale, rise the arms. Exhale and fold. You got it. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, point the hands, jump back or step back, however you want to get there. Chat around them. Really focusing on you. Take an inhale into your heart. Exhale, down dog. You did it. Close your eyes. Woo! Allow yourself to let go. Again, biceps forward, triceps back, always checking in with where you are. Notice if you're sitting down, draw those ribs in. Take one last deep inhale, exhale to the mouth. Bend the knees up forward. Step or hop or jump, however you can get there, forward fold, weight in the toes. Inhale, halfway, roll the shoulders back, exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, roll all the way to stand. Exhale this time, have your hands down by your side, close your eyes. <sighs> Take a moment, roll your wrists, roll your shoulders, roll your head, even roll your mouth around. Open the jaw wide and close it. Nice, whenever you're ready, take an inhale, rise the arms. Just take a deep stretch. As you exhale, swing the arms out in front of you, sit back and down to your pose. So you can have your arms wherever you want them to be. You can have them out in front of you. I like always have them out in front of me. Or you can have them up by your ears. If you feel so much tension in your shoulders, again, have them out in front of you or hands at your heart. Allow yourself to sink down here. Draw the belly in. Pelvis tilts back. Tailbone lengthens. And try to lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Make sure you can see your toes. Knees aren't past your toes. If you want an extra challenge, maybe you can lift your toes, come under your heels. Or you can lift your heels, come under your toes. And kind of playing with it. Maybe you can allow yourself to sink deeper. I know you can do it while well, looking beautiful still. Inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, coming back to that chair pose, sinking deeper maybe, feeling that weight melting down. Lifting the heart, pelvis tilts back like you're emptying that good coronavirus soup bowl back behind you. Holding here, exhale and fold. Allow the weight to come into your toes. Let anything go. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. Inhaling halfway. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, come back to that chair. Hold here. 
And checking in with where you are, lifting the heart, tailbone lengthens, belly in. Really trying to get your thighs parallel to the ground, or being with ever with where you are. Take an inhale, exhale, and fold. Letting go last time. Inhale, halfway. Exhaling, vinyasa here, chaturanga. However you want to get there, jump back or step back. Moving through that flow. I'm just meeting the end down dog. Doing whatever feels good here. Take a break. As you inhale, rise the right leg toward the ceiling. Three, look at up. Doing a little bit differently. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, draw the knee to your chest, round your spine. Inhaling, lengthen that right leg. As you exhale, draw the right knee to your right elbow, or maybe your right armpit. Crunch again. Inhaling. Exhaling, knee to your left elbow, pausing here. And then extending that left foot towards the side, the outer edge, sorry, the right foot towards the left side. Inhale, rise the left arm. So you're opening the heart, hips lifted towards the ceiling. Exhaling, bring the hand back down, draw the knee to your chest. Kind of hopping wherever you need to be, and then draw the foot in between the hands. Turn the back toes 45 degrees, inhaling, warrior one. Oh, sinking hips deeper down. Allow everything to be square, so your hip bones are square. Right knee turns outward toward the right front corner of your mat, and left leg kind of follows that leg, so left leg kind of turns inwards to follow that right leg. Take a deep inhale, exhale and fold. Plant the hands to the left toes to face forward, to the back to a plank, optional chaturanga, and then knee in down dog. Really following your breath. Once you're getting down dog, do anything that feels good. Shake the hips, bend the knees. Take an inhale, lift the left leg. As you exhale, draw the knee to your chest, and same thing. Inhaling, rise on that leg. Exhaling, knee to your left elbow or left armpit. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhaling, knee to right elbow, right armpit, pausing here. Extending that left leg towards the right side. Rise the right arm up towards the ceiling. Breathing in, exhale, untwist and wind. Draw the knee back to your chest and set the foot in between the hands. Turn the back toes 45 degrees. Inhale, warrior one. And try to get that left thigh parallel to the ground. Sink the hips down and deep. Turn the hands up back or step back. However you want to get there. Chaturanga. Really focusing on you. Take an inhale into your heart. Exhale, down dog. You did it. Close your eyes. Woo. Allow yourself to let go. Again, biceps forward, triceps back. Always checking in with where you are. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, bend the knees up forward. Exhale, step or jump. However you get there towards forward fold. Inhale, halfway roll the shoulders back. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, come back to that chair pose. Sink the hips deeper and down. Lift your heart. Again, checking in with where you are. Tilting the pal of his back. Tailbone lengthens. Holding here. Three, two, one. Inhale, rise. Take a deep stretch. Exhale, hands come by your side. <sighs> Letting anything go. Let the spine relax. Shoulders relax away from the ears. Maybe you can twist side to side if that feels good. Noticing where you are in this moment. Slowing the body down, feeling the arms heavy, hands heavy, feeling almost as if any energy, any bad juju, any bad energy is kind of letting go of your fingers, letting go out of your fingers. And then whenever you're ready, take a deep inhale, rise the arms, take a deep stretch. Do that same thing again, exhale, sit back and down chair. Again, noticing where you are. If you want to go deeper, you can always come onto your tippy toes, lift the heels or vice versa, lift the toes, come onto your heels even deeper. Exhale, unfold. Moving through it faster here, inhale and halfway. Exhale, plant the hands up or jump back, chaturanga, however you're gonna get there, or you can just keep me in down and down. So really following what feels best for you. And if you're ready, inhale, rise the right leg. Exhale, knee to chest, round the spine. Inhaling, lengthening that leg. Exhaling, knee to right elbow. Inhaling. 
exhaling the left elbow, pausing here, extending that foot. Inhale, rise the left arm. Deep breath, exhale, plant the hand down, draw the knee into the chest, and then set the foot forward, turn the back toes 45 degrees. Inhale, warrior one. Ooh, allowing everything to sink down. Turn that right knee outward, left leg inward. Pause in here. Take a deep stretch as you exhale, fold down towards the foot. Sit it back to a plank again, optional chaturanga. And then meet me in down dog whenever you want to go there. On your breath, inhaling, lifting it up. Exhale, knee to your chest or knee to your nose, crunching in. Inhaling. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhaling. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Pausing here, extend the foot out to the side. Rise the right arm. Exhale, twist back to center. Draw the left knee to the chest. Set the foot forward between the hands. Turn the back toes 45 degrees. Inhale, rear one. Sinking down. Take an inhale, deep stretch, rise the arms, lengthen the spine, exhale, unfold. Come back to that vinyasa whenever you want to go there. And then just meet me and down dog. Allow yourself to let go, you're finding ease in this pose. Letting things relax without sinking down too deep. One last deep inhale. Exhale, the mouth. Bend the knees as you inhale, look forward, step or hop or jump towards the front, forward fold. Weight in the toes here, allow yourself to let go. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, come back to that chair. Allowing yourself to sit down and deeper if that feels good for you. Whenever you're ready, inhale, rise all the way. Exhale, bring your hands on your side. Close your eyes. Let yourself rest. And just bring your awareness back to you. Pumping that energy back into your body, back into your heart. And you take deep inhales, deep exhales. Just moving a little bit differently here. Take a deep inhale, rise up. As you exhale, sit back in down, chair pose. Holding here. Maybe heel to the feet a little bit wider. Take an inhale. As you exhale, sit all the way down onto your bottom. Rock all the way back, like we did earlier. Rock all the way forward, come back to that Malasana Yogi squat. So those are here. So come on to rock side to side. Plant the hands again, come back to that crow pose. Holding here. Kick the feet up, or if you just want to do one foot at a time, you can do so. Look forward. Hold as long as you want. Either trying to stay here and jumping back into vinyasa flow, or just bring the feet down and sit back to a plank. Again, whatever you want to do. Exhale. Just meeting me and down dog. Sink your hips down, knee above the ankle. 
Try to get this right thigh parallel to the ground, arms out toward the teeth. Looking over your right fingers, take a moment to draw your pinkies to the back while opening your heart. Take a moment of stillness here. Take an inhale, exhale, reverse where you're drawing the left hand down towards the left leg. Rise the right arm towards the ceiling. Sink the hips down deep. Take an inhale, exhale, part with the hands all the way to square the right foot. Turn the back toes to face the right foot, maybe hop a little bit forward. Take an inhale as you exhale, straightening this right leg. So you're feeling the stretching behind the hamstring of the right leg. Draw the right hip back, left hip moves forward. Just square your hip up to the front of your mat. You can have your hands on blocks or books or toilet paper if needed, or just stay on the ground. Trying to draw your torso down deep or towards the ground, towards your leg. You can stay here, or you can keep your left fingers planted. Inhale, rise the right arm up toward the ceiling. So you're twisting open, and you might feel this in your right hip or down the right leg. Holding here. You can bend the knee if needed, or keep that little knee bend in the knee. Smile. Take a deep inhale, exhale, and fold, twisting down back to that leg. Take an inhale, exhale, bend the knee. And just coming to warrior three here. So keeping the foot planted, leaning all that weight forward onto the right leg and bringing the toenails of the left toes onto the ground. Seems harder than it feels. And then whenever you're ready, lift that back leg coming to that warrior three pose. So hands can stay onto the ground or grab your blocks, or hands can come to your heart or out in front of you. Imagine you're on a seesaw, like Nadia always says, so either lifting your heart, your foot drops down, lifting or lowering your heart down, your foot rises, kind of coming into one straight line. Nice, take an inhale, bend the knee. Inhale, rise the arm or the heart all the way up to standing, draw the left knee into your chest. Give it a good hug, a good squeeze. Then take the left angle on top of the right, a little bit above the right knee. And allow yourself to sink down. You maybe press the left hand into the left knee, left thigh. Feel the stretching on the outer left hip. Lifting your heart. Deep breath here. Inhaling, draw the knee back to your chest. As you exhale, come back to just standing, checking it out, walking it out. Take an inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, chair pose. Sitting the hips down and deep here, letting go. Nice, take an inhale here as you exhale again, sit all the way down, rock back, and then rock forward, come back to that malasana here, come to that little crow pose. Again, you can only kick one foot up, or both feet up, look forward. Nice, again, option to come to that vinyasa, however you want to get there. Now in the elbows, if you jump down, inhale, open the heart. Exhale, meet me down, dog. Allow everything to let go. Take an inhale, rise the left leg. As you exhale, then draw the knee to your chest. Inhaling. Exhaling, knee to your right elbow, crunching in. Inhaling. Exhaling, knee to the left elbow. Pausing here. Take an inhale as you exhale, brush that knee all the way down towards your wrist. Inhaling, crunching it back up. Exhaling, slowly releasing. Inhaling, crunching it. Exhaling. Inhaling two more times. At your own pace. You can see me shaking. Maybe you're shaking too, or maybe you look like a strong warrior, which we all are. Inhaling, lengthen that leg. Exhale, draw the knee or the foot in between the hands. Turn the back toes 45 degrees. Inhaling, warrior one. Allow yourself to sink deep here. Hips turning forward. Take an inhale, exhale, warrior two. Back foot turns 90 degrees towards the back of the mat. Sink the hips deep and down. Arms up to a T, looking over your left fingers. Draw your pinkies back behind you so you're opening up the chest across the collarbones. 
Take an inhale here, exhale, right hand falls down the right leg. Left hand reaches up towards the sky. Breathing into the left side, check to the body. As you exhale, carve the hands all the way down. Just square the left foot, back toes turn forward. Again, you can hop slightly forward if need be. And then to just straighten this left leg, again, hips draw back. Left hip draws back, right hip draws forward. If you want more stretching, you can reach the toes up towards the ceiling or just stay where you are. Taking deep breaths into it. As you inhale, fill the body with that air. As you exhale, maybe deepen down towards the leg. Fingers up towards the ceiling. Draw the left hip back. Take a deep inhale, exhale, and fold all the way back down. Bend the right knee, or the left knee, so the left knee comes above the left ankle. Lean all the way forward onto that leg. Feel all that weight there. Then bring the toenails of the right toes onto the ground. You can easily lift the right leg, coming to that warrior three, L shape. Draw the right hip down, left hip lifts, so all the hips are square. Maybe you feel the tension in the outer left hip, left leg. You can do anything that feels good here. Keep that hold of your books or your toilet paper or bring your hands on your heart. Maybe lift your heart higher. Arms up to a T again, finding what feels good for you. Then start to bend the knee as you inhale, lift the heart. Right knee comes to your chest. Give it a good hug, a good squeeze. And then exhale, draw the right ankle on above the left knee. Sink down and deep. You can press that right knee open towards the side. Try to lift your heart here. Again, let's stretching around the outer right hip. Nice. Inhale, come to standing. Plant the foot down. Shake it up. Let the legs go. Let everything go. Take a deep inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, hands on by your side. Close the eyes. And just really focusing into yourself. Noticing your breath. Where is it? Noticing your heart beating. Maybe even noticing the swaying back and forth on your mat. Really trying to plant your weight evenly on both sides. And if you feel good, take a deep inhale, rise the arms. Exhale and fold all the way down. Just take a break here, grab your elbows, rock side to side. Feel that decompression in your spine as your head drops all the way down. And weight is in your toes here. Feel the stretching behind the hamstrings still. And then release the arms, ragdoll the arms down. Left hand comes in a little bit underneath your nose. Inhale, rise the right arm up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, untwist and wind. Switch hands, inhale, left arm rises. And you can look towards your thumb. Feel the twisting in the spine. Exhale, untwist and wind. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, round your spine totally. Feel it stretching behind the back. Inhale, slowly lift. Coming all the way back up to standing. As you exhale, come down to that chair pose. Sink the hips down, arms out in front of you, or again, wherever they want to be. Take a moment here. Maybe sinking deeper. Lifting that heart, tailbone lengthens down. Then you can scoot those feet a little bit wider apart. Do that same thing we did earlier. Take an inhale, exhale, sit all the way down. Rock back. And then power rock forward, come to the Malasana. 
Take a moment here, just kind of wiggle side to side, rock side to side in the legs, feel that opening in the hips. If you want a good stretch in the spine, you can walk the hands forward, round the spine, sink the hips down. with the hand, with the arm. Keep that back leg lifted, left toes are flexed. Maybe you can look all the way towards the right thumb, or just stay here, feel the stretching in the outer right leg, right hip. Take a deep inhale, exhale, untwist and wind back to center. Maybe you move the block, grab the ground. As you exhale, bend the knee, all the way draw the left toes onto the ground. And then draw the left knee onto the ground, coming to a low lunge, untuck the toes. Take a moment to heel toe the right foot, open up as far as you want it to go. Maybe you can even come onto the outer edge of the right foot. You can draw the right knee open towards the side like a 45 degree angle. You can use the right hand to press it open. Take a moment to turn the torso towards the right side. So left leg kind of turns down towards the ground and look towards the back leg. Press away from the leg of the hand. Keep the chest and heart open. As you exhale, come back to center. Bring the right hand down the ground. You can stay here, or you can use your books or anything you have to allow yourself to deepen. Forearms on the ground, coming to just a baby lizard pose. If you want to get a full lizard, more kind of holding here, strengthening, you can tuck the back toes, lift that left knee off the ground. Noticing if your heart is sinking down, kind of keep the heart lifted. Allow the hips to sink deeper and relax.
Same here for five more deep inhales, five more deep exhales. <sighs> Letting things go. Side to side if you need to move in with what feels good for you. And then draw the knee back above the ankle, heel toe that foot back in. Bring the right hand around the right foot, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and then set forward to a forward fold. Bend one knee, bend the knee, shake anything out. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, bend the knees on the spine. Inhale, rise the arms. Take a quick pause here, quick stretch. Exhale, chair pose. Allow yourself to deepen. Take an inhale, exhale, sit the bottom all the way down, rock back. Power rock forward, plant the feet down, lift here. Come all the way directly to that crow pose. Lift the feet. Again, hold as long as you want. And then come down to that vinyasa if you want to go there. And then meet me in down dog. Allowing your breath to relax your body here. Taking that ujjayi breath, ocean sunny breath, letting go. Whenever you're ready, take an inhale, rise the left leg. As you exhale, draw the knee to your chest. Pause here for a moment. Noticing where you are, pressing away from the ground. Then draw the nose to your knee, your knee to your armpit, slipping the foot in between the hands. To the back toes, 45 degrees. Inhale, warrior one. Sink the hips down and deep. Take an inhale, exhale, warrior two. Back foot turns pedal to the back of the mat. Take an inhale, exhale, right hand falls on the right leg. Inhale, left arm lifts. Feel the opening in the left side body. Exhale, left hand comes down to left leg. Rise the right arm towards something really opening, pressing away from the left leg. So you're kind of opening the space in the shoulder, not sinking down into it. Again, you can stay here or you can stick that left arm out in front of you. So again, you're at that 12. Three o'clock. Try to lift the heart toward the ceiling, holding here, sinking him deep as you keep that core strong. Minds are stronger, right? Holding here. Three, two, one. Inhale, come back to that word. Two. Take a deep inhale, exhale, curl the hands down to square the foot, bend the knee above the ankle, maybe hop a little bit forward. Bring the right toenails onto the ground. Inhale, rise the right leg. Holding here, again, draw the right hip down, left hip lifts. Flex the back foot. Kind of playing with it, whatever feels best for you here. Moving the arms around, closing the eyes even, challenging yourself. And again, you can grab your block or anything you have if needed, or just keep your hands on the ground. Right hand comes in a little bit underneath your right eye or your nose. And then bring that left arm out towards a half T on the left side. Again, you can stay here, sink the hips down. Or you can open the heart towards the ceiling and rise the left arm up towards the ceiling as well. Keep the back foot lengthened. Feel the nice stretch on the left leg, left hip. And then exhale, unwind here, move anything that is out in front of you. Bring the hands onto the ground. As you exhale, bend the knee. Draw the right toes down onto the ground. Then draw the right knee onto the ground. Untuck the toes. Allow yourself to sink down and deep here. You can heel toe that right, the left foot up towards the left side. So the hands on the right side of the left foot. You can bring that leg out to 45 degrees. Bring the left hand into the left thigh. Feel the opening. I'm going to turn the torso towards the left side. You're pressing away from the leg. So you're going to keep the torso, the heart open. Maybe looking towards your right toes. Take a deep inhale, exhale, and you're twisting and winding. Then you can stay here with the hands on the ground, heart lifted, or allow yourself to deepen forms onto anything you have. Allow yourself to let go. Using your breath to guide you here, take deep inhales, deep exhales. And you can sit here or tuck the toes, lift the right knee if you want that extra strengthening, holding, or if you just want releasing, let the leg go. 
So stay here for five more deep inhales, five more deep exhales. On your last inhale, plant the hands. Lift the heart. You can shake anything out. And then bring the knee back above the ankle. Heel toe that foot back in. Tuck the right toes. Lift the right knee. And then step it forward to a forward fold. Notice any sensations around the hips. Allow yourself to shake anything out. And just pause in your forward fold. Feel that weight melted towards the ground, head melted, head relaxed. Weight in the toes. You can grab your elbows. Sink yourself deeper. Nice, take an inhale, come halfway, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, bend the knees around the spine. Inhale, lift all the way to stand. Float the arms all the way. Exhale, hands down by your side. Close the eyes. Take a moment to again reconnect with yourself. And then take a deep inhale through your both nostrils. Feel that oxygen going towards your heart, your lungs, your stomach, your whole body. As you exhale, exhale and smile. Smiling at the corners of your mouth or with your teeth, your pearly whites. And just bring that happiness into yourself. Knowing that you are where you are. Allowing yourself to be in the present moment, knowing that you are okay. Right? And take a deep inhale, rise the arms all the way to the Take a deep stretch. Exhale, sit back and down, chair pose. Last chair here. Woohoo! Let it go. Lift the heart, lengthen that tailbone down. Take an inhale here as you exhale, sink the bottom all the way down. Rock back. And then rock forward as you come to a boat pose. So kick the legs out in front of you. Hands come back behind your, um, underneath your knees here. And just try to draw your heart to your knees, knees to your heart. Take a moment to stay here. You can paddle the feet, roll the ankles around. Let anything go. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, allow yourself to sink. So exhale, sinking down. Either keeping that hold underneath your legs or letting them go. Straightening the legs along the spine. Inhaling, crunching back in. Knee to your heart, heart to your knees. Exhaling as you release all the way down, or halfway down. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, crunching it and smiling. Exhaling, lowering. Inhaling, crunching it and just pausing here. Lifting the heart up. And you can keep the toes up, or you can even keep the toes down, doesn't matter. And then kind of crossing here. So taking the right hand and grabbing the outer edge of the right the left knee, bring the left hand back behind you, so twisting, opening to the left side. Maybe looking towards the left thumb. So trying to keep your heart towards your knees, knees towards your heart. As you exhale, cross the left arm, left hand over across the right hand. So you're reaching for the outer right leg. And then bring that right hand back behind you. Again, trying to lift the heart to your knees here. Breathing in, exhale, crossing the arm. One step, one more time, left hand up behind you. Twisting here, exhaling, grabbing the right knee, right hand comes back behind you. Nice, exhaling, drawing the knees to your chest, just giving yourself a good squeeze in. And just coming to a seated, um, a seated crow pose. So sometimes we're on crow and we kind of know kind of the basic pose of what we're doing. This is kind of a fun way to think about it. So just kind of flex your feet here. Almost as if you're in like a happy baby. Put your hands out in front of you and really squeeze your knees, your inner knees, into your triceps. So hold here for kind of five, four, three. Really draw your knees to your chest, heart to your knees. Two, 
One leg up, reach all the way down. Hands all the way above your head. Allow yourself to let go. Take a stretch. Roll your wrists, roll your ankles. Nice, and then draw your right knee to your chest here. Really try to draw your right knee to your right shoulder. And then flex your foot, come to a happy baby on the right side. So grab the outer edge of your pinky toe of the foot arm, comes into the inner side of the right leg. Again, try to draw the knee towards the ground. And learn this pose from Nadia, the best teacher in the world. Draw your left foot into the ground here. So the knee comes up towards the end. So you're in the happy baby on the right side, and you come to like a butterfly pose on the left side. So draw the left knee down towards the ground. You can use your left hand to press into that inner left thigh, feel more stretching. Or you can help it put the hand underneath the thigh to hold it. Hold here. Let the shoulder blades relax, head relaxing. Deep inhale. Exhale, draw the left knee back up to the sun. And then draw the left knee to the chest. Come to a happy baby on both sides. Draw the knees down, flex the feet. Maybe rock side to side. Or just stay here in stillness. Take an inhale as you exhale, plant the right foot down and move towards the sign. Take a moment to pause. And then draw the right knee open towards the right side. So you feel that opening here. Butterfly on the right side. Happy baby on the left side. And you can use that right hand to really help you press it open or underneath your thigh to help you lift it. Inhale, exhale, plant the foot down, your twist in, draw the knee back into your chest, come to happy baby on both sides. And you can rock here or just stay in stillness. Inhaling, reaching the feet up toward the ceiling. Get up toward the ceiling, flex the toes, point the toes, and draw the knees into your chest, let yourself relax. And just rock side to side. Notice any sensation, just kind of coming into a little ball. Slowly wherever you are, you can stay here if needed. Rest for an hour or longer if you would like. Or you can create some movement in your body, moving your fingers, your toes, maybe open the jaw wide and closing it. Just creating that energy back within you. Then take a deep inhale through both nostrils. Exhale through the mouth.
joining me on the mat for yourself, knowing you can always come here and do so. Namaste.